How's it going guys, it's Dan Tommy back in, and we are back with another video. Today we are doing an, a Sims 4 speed build, you know never I guess. Uh, so today we are actually building a house, a uh, house requested by a subscriber. Uh, so like I always oh, say down below, uh, make sure to leave any comments if you want a house built by yours truly. Uh, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. I thought I might as well pop this in at the start of the video. Uh, so yeah, this house, a massive family home. They wanted, they sent me a house, a real life house to take inspiration from and kind of build in The Sims, which is, I'm not sure if you could say exactly like the house. I kind of had some liberties here and there. I ex you know, added the odd room in because I, I felt like it needed a bit more. It needs, needed to be bigger because they also wanted a, an extra bedroom. So I was like, okay, yeah, this needs to be a little bit bigger. At the moment, we are on this uh, lot here. I think it's like 40 by 30 or something. Or uh, it might be 30 by 20. I don't know. I can't remember. This was like a while back. Uh, so I do actually end up moving it to a, ma a bigger, much bigger lot. This, fun fact, this, this house... Took me literally nearly nine hours to build. I ended up going mad with clutter and decor and everything. And I had a hard time with the downstairs. Especially like with the kitchen and dining area. I just... It wasn't working for me. It, I had to go back to it eventually. Um, but right now, in the video, we are currently... Do, well, I'm doing the... Um, the windows at the moment. I, I, had, I had a lot of fun doing like these... It's snowy retreat windows. That's the pack they're from. Uh, I would love these windows. Uh, I wish there was a bit more, like, variance, I guess you could say, in terms of the shapes and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I think I've, they're just really nice to use for any kind of suburban kind of home. I would say this is very suburban. It, I could... Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I haven't done a voiceover like this in ages. Uh, I'm going to tell you how many rooms and what, what to expect from this house. So, uh, there's, there's, off the top of my head, I believe there's six bedrooms, and, well, technically seven, there's a spare bedroom as well. Uh, they can easily be changed to a study, or, you know, whatever you want. Um, I kind of stuff, stuff the upstairs with a lot of bedrooms, so just go mad. Do, if you do download this off the gallery, my gallery ID is just Antommy, the same as my YouTube channel. Uh, go mad, you can change any rooms, like, there's, like, a small study on the landing, like, hallway, so, we've got a bit of a study there, this is a massive, this has a massive living room, don't know why, at the moment, my last few builds has had, like, massive living rooms, especially my last one, I, I did my dream home, that was, like, nearly two months ago, because I haven't, well, one, I had this mad, really terrible cough recently, so I haven't been able to do much, uh, I could just about do work with a cough, uh, with, it was really hard one. I'm so hopefully on the back end of it. I still got it a tiny bit. Um, so I haven't even been able to go to the gym. I usually smash the gym a lot. Uh, but yeah, this is a big living room. I used a lot of the dream, uh, dream home items, which is they're one of my favorite. Like, but it's one of my favorite packs. I love all the furniture. It's like the the couch, like the modular couches and tables and like, what's it, TV stands and bookcases, they're just to die for, they're so good in the game, like I'm doing here, I'm doing like a modular sort of bookcase, I'm trying to merge some some bookcases together and some tables, not sure if it works, I think I think I end up going, I think I end up working in, in the end when I actually find the right kind of combination, combination, um, yeah, fun fact, with the couch, I didn't realise, like, I, I think I'll go back to it in the end, but I was, I've been watching a lot of James Turner lately, and his gameplay, There's a he has two channels, a Sims channel, and like a normal gaming channel, I've been watching both of them quite a lot recently, and I didn't realise that the couch, there's actually, uh, a f the, you can actually change, like it's like kind of cabinets, you can have different pieces to it, and I was like, how did I not know this? I guess I never thought to check, and I found that out on like one of his videos. I was like, "Well, I'm going back in the last like you'll see at the back end of this video if you do watch all of it." I was debating what to do in this room because I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the rooms are a bit weird shape in this house, especially like the landings. And the original build had like a 
garage. I typically try to stay away from garages in The Sims 4 because, well, we don't have cars and the garage is going to be decorative. Uh, I kind of use this garage though as a kind of activity gym area just so, you know, you have room to put a bunch of stuff in there. As a car, that takes up a lot of the space. I I kind of I wanted to have that table tennis and table tennis table, but you have to see what happens with it. Uh, we have this little nook, which uh, has like a chess table in, which not many. No, I don't think anybody really owns a chess table that much anymore. Um, but that, that a lot of this actually changes in the f getting on in the video. Uh, we do have this like little walk right, like a. Like windowed hallway, which is interesting. I wanted to, you know, use the platform in here. I'm just, I'm just trying to like gauge what I want to do here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to sunk down half the build or which half. It's it's a lot of mess. Now I do go like kind of all over the place in this build. I sped up by like ten times the the pace, or was a hundred times one or the other. So it is quite fast. So sorry if it does make you sick. Or if I, this would have been like 50 minutes long and I was like, I could do a 50 minute long speed build, but I'm not sure if anybody would watch that. I mean, I'm scraping, I'm going over half an hour here. I'm going to try <laughs> to talk all the way through, fingers crossed I can. And I got this car off the gallery. Uh, I think this is like a, sh like a, yeah, when you put the T in, like show live objects, or whatever they call to get like hidden objects. I think that's off what it's off but I just kind of found on the gallery and was like I'll just shove that in there it looks better than sizing up the cut the tr the toy cars which uh uh they don't look that good when you size them up um they're very low quality uh so here I was like I was you know debating whether to put another color in because I've got this very black red uh living room which I if you don't know red is my favorite color like a bit mi Maybe the way I go red closer to maroon, but yeah, it's like around that kind of colour I love. Uh, I didn't actually keep this bluish turquoise spit in the living room, but yeah, it's all, this changes. I would say, no, I don't know if you say a lot, but the key parts kind of change. Like, um, this garage, I put a load of stuff in. Um, this is a bit where I kind of get stuck in the, this the bit here. I thought to explain. I'm on the garage at the moment, but like on the other side, or like the opposite side of the build of where the living room is, I've got the kitchen and like dining area, which I do actually separate separate them out in the end because I was like, what the hell do we do with this area? I was kind of stuck, so I do actually jump up to the upstairs after I get stuck. And I actually use, I don't think these are garage doors, but I think they're like folk doors, like, um, that I've used on the garage, but I was like, you know what, it could just be a very interesting garage door, so I kind of just put them in there, because they actually, you know, you can actually use it. The only garage doors that are in the game are in City Living, I believe, and they just, they're ugly. I could use CC, which I've done in the past, but... I try to stay away from CC now, I think, because I've had my period where I'm like, oh yeah, I like CC, but I'm just like, eh, it's just annoying when you like reinstall your game and you have to put them all back in and just like, and then updates happen, you have to update everything. I'm just like, I just, it's just got to be asked, basically. So I might as well stick with the, the stuff in the game. So they actually, Dream Home actually come in as with, come, comes with, if I can actually form a sentence, <laughs> comes with this kind of tent thing, which I think, I know toddlers can use it. I'm not sure about kids. I'm assuming they can. But I guess if it's toddlers, oh, wow, well, it's in there. You can always change the toddler bedrooms. So there is, like I said, there's seven bedrooms. You've got the master, you got a spare bedroom, you got, like, two teens, a boys and a girls, typically, like, traditionally. Uh, i got two, what, two toddler bedrooms, which are, again, boys and girls subject to whatever you fancy i mean this could be a girl's bedroom light blue it doesn't really matter it's, i'm just going by you know blue for boys girls uh pink for girls but honestly you can do whatever you want with it um the person i mean youtube a uh, subscriber who actually requests this uh, she wanted me to say oh it's katrina her name is she wanted me to build this uh 
Unfortunately, she doesn't actually um, have The Sims 4, so she said she's going to recreate it in The Sims 3, which is a great idea. Because first she asked me to build it in The Sims 3, and I was like, you know, it's not as... I try to stay away from building in The Sims 3 because it's it's a bit more clunky, and I would, I've would i tried building it before, and it, I'm, you have to be, like, proper experienced, I would say, in building in The Sims 3 because it's, like, a bit of an old old school game in terms of building i can play it i i think i've done the odd let's play in the past so if i'm starting to feel sound a bit croaky go on to the bedrooms these change yet again so uh the the play the like the placement of them and i've got a massive kind of master bedroom over to the right here which is like yeah yellow and i love the hexagon carpets from like i think it's uh gold was it, un the university pack whatever it's called uh, i use that a lot in my builds and especially this one uh, so this is kind of like the girls bedroom which i feel like i might i think i end up moving this i end up cutting up a lot of this because either i don't keep what i've done at one moment or i might pause and go to the toilet or have something to eat you know step away from a desk essentially and it uh, Sometimes I'm away for like half an hour, so yeah, <laughs> I caught it out. So hope you guys are doing well in it at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm doing fine apart from a little bit of a cough. Um, I'm actually I'm still working from home. I'm just going in the odd day. I think at the moment I'm not sure if it's every week, but at the moment I think the last two Thursdays I actually been in. Uh, technically though, the first day just gone was a half day for myself. Because I booked a load of holidays off, so one and a half days, <laughs> really. Uh, so we're actually back to the build. We're actually onto the land space, which is also, a, you know, desk. I did have originally had a bathroom here, which I thought, you know what, I kind of want a landing space, you know, maybe put like a computer there. This house does have many computers, fun fact, I guess. Fun fact is my favorite saying now. I think it's got four maybe five i don't i didn't really count but it definitely has three or four at least um so here i'm going back here back down here and i kind of took off this little nook here and i actually made it into a bathroom because at the moment i think at this time in the building i kind of had all these bedrooms i had like i think i had seven maybe six bedrooms at the moment and then i was like hmm i've only got like two bathrooms like upstairs and downstairs, so I was like, I need to add more bathrooms in. So I've got this one, another downstairs bathroom, which is, I guess it makes sense because it's kind of like on the other side of the house and the other ring, I guess you could say. And eventually I have a ensuite. And I think, I, yeah, I definitely put in another upstairs bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. There's quite a lot to talk about. <laughs> uh, so here, yeah, this is a bit where I kind of took a bit of liberties because the on the original kind of build and the real life build, what I'm taking inspiration from, didn't have this kind of bit of an extension on the top on the upstairs. But I thought, you know, I've got all this space that I can just add on your another room, you know, because you got the long bit at the side. So I was like, gonna have another toilet. There. I've got, I've got it. I think, I think if it's a bit, it's gonna be a bit harder if you guys play with this build, or if it's just not realistic to have, you know, not enough bathrooms. Essentially, if you can have two and like seven bedrooms, that's gonna be so annoying to play with, and just unrealistic. So I end up cutting off like a lot of like when I create these bathrooms because I don't think they're the most interesting thing to look at. Um. Yeah, I end up just showing them in the screenshots at the end. I was tempted to do like a live tour. I was even tempted to do a webcam, but I was like, I'll just stick to the voiceover because at the moment, I just, I wasn't feeling up to do the webcam. <laughs> Maybe in the future. I've seen some interesting build challenges floating around at the moment on YouTube, which is kind of like, kind of like what I've done in the past where it's like each room is different pack or, you know, something around those lines. So I might revisit, I haven't revisited them. Or do some different kind of variations of them because I've seen like uh, Plum Bella and James Turner kind of do them. Plus, you got the scenarios in the game too, which I've been so tempted to do like a mini series because I've seen James Turner do like, especially like the no skills, no problem challenge where you've got you got to earn 
like 400,000 simoleons with no skills, which is fucking bonkers. So I might I might go ahead and try that. I know they've got like a very mini 100 baby, baby challenge scenario, which I was actually tempted to do that a while back. It's like the full throttle ch- challenge. And you have to level three, three skills to level four, I think it is. For like four toddlers, and I was like, oh, was it four? I think it's four. Uh, so let me know down below if you do want me to do like a bit of a scenario, scenario chat series. So it kind of be like a little one-off videos where it might take hours because uh, I've I've been watching James Taylor do challenge videos, and he he says sometimes halfway through the videos, like I've spent like three hours just trying to get all this money. I'm just like bloody hell, I'm gonna have to do it like when I'm off. And I've got nothing else to do, because <laughs> that's going to be... I'll take the life out of me, I think. Uh, but let me know, yeah. If plus, D, they, they do that. There's one, like, you have to reach a million simoleons, which could be fun. It kind of takes me back to when I had that Making a Million uh, series. I think that was, like, the first year or two of this channel. And I kind of stopped, because I think I got a little bit bored. But, I mean, I could always bring that, like sim back and like mr money bags i do tend to do like a lot of let's plays on this channel which i just kind of either stop doing it because i don't want to do it or it's just not interesting to me anymore when i'm i'm tempted to go back to the 100 baby challenge because i've kind of put that on the back burner a little bit and do some more builds and build challenges just because it was like I, well, I'm probably being consistent, which I know everybody, everybody probably knows by watching these videos and being on the channel. Um, so, yeah, I might I might go back to it. Maybe I need to do that scenario with, like, four toddlers to get back into it. That might be fun. Plus, I watched, like, Jane stay and I do it, and he's got a few tricks to do, you know, to help help us out. So, yeah. So, <laughs> back to the bill. whoop a dup dup <laughs> uh, So... Uh, I think I finally did the kitchen and dining room downstairs. I think that could be all good at the moment. I can't remember. Um, so this is a very weird landing slash, I'll tell you, hallway probably. Uh, it's really long because I kind of split it up to make it like, I don't know. It's some, some, it makes it interesting. And I kind of think like, because in my flat, it doesn't have an archway. It just has like a cut out of a wall. So, like, like in the shape of a door. So, I think in real life, if this was a real life house, those arches that I put upstairs would probably just be cut outs. You know, you know what I mean? Like, of the wall, not just actual hot archway. Could you know, that's what I imagine it to be. Uh, and I actually really like these, like, little small, like, circular, like, mats, like, rugs. Because I thought, you know, they, they, they kind of fill up the spot and they were interesting to look at. I did them upstairs in the in a small hallway and then downstairs in the main hallway. Uh, oh, this this dining room, mwah, so good. I I kind of kind of kind of if I could say words, this kind of feels like a bit like a greenhouse for flowers because I put so much greenery and so much flowers in. This living room, living room, dining room, it's insane. And I just love it. It, it really brightens it up. And especially with all like the tall windows everywhere. It kind of feels like a greenhouse, but they've just smacked the dining room right in the centre. So it's it's uh, it's interesting. And I do this is a bit where kind of brought out my inner clutterness, I guess you could say. I bought you know, I did a lot of clutter in this kind of like you got two bookcases, but I kind of thought they kind of work as one, one big one. Um, so yeah, I put like just a load of books, a load of CDs and hard drives, uh, just a load, load of everything really. And I think this is a bit where it just all comes together the downstairs. Yeah. Um, so it all comes together. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more 100 baby challenge on the channel. It's probably a bit of a random question to ask during a speed build but you know well i've got you here <laughs> i might as well put that out there and uh yeah i think i'm gonna leave this off here <laughs> my my voice is about to go so yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed the rest of this video again make sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know down below if you got any houses that you want me to build i know and one other person in the comments did ask me to do like a 
Uh, is it the Iron Living Pack? The the neighbor, the that is it Sue Army, Sue Army, something like that. To do like a, I'm not sure if it's a beach house, but a house in that world. So I'll have to go back to the mask if they want anything particular, um, because that might be a good like normal build to do next. But yeah, I uh, hope you all have a nice day, and goodbye.
Thank you.